<laughs> All right. Well, water fountains in neighborhoods or backyard ponds are nice to look at, but they can also play an important role in the health of the pond. Certainly can. Meteorologist Frank Johnson looks at how aeration can be good for your pond in this month's Carolina Clear Report. Most ponds in our part of the Carolinas are built for flood control or water quality protection. To make these ponds a healthy, attractive part of the landscape takes a little bit of work. One of the ways to keep the pond healthy is to make sure the water contains enough oxygen. Oxygen is, is everything to a pond. It's, it's as essential to the life of a pond as it is to you as a human. Oxygen produces aerobic bacteria that reduces nutrient load in the pond, makes a healthier environment. Oxygen depletion is caused by excessive weed and algae growth, too much sediment, decomposition, pond turnover, or hot, cloudy, still weather. And it's easy to tell when your pond is not healthy. There will be sediment that will start to filter into the, into the system, get in the bottom of it, and then you start to have huge algae blooms, excessive weed growth, you'll have noxious smells because it's releasing gases, noxious gases, methane gas. Um, so there's a lot of things that happen, but your general health of the pond declines. Fixing an oxygen depleted pond starts with removing weeds and algae and can even include dredging the pond. And the fastest way is to simply add an aerator to the anyway, pond. That will artificially produce oxygen into that water column. It's important to remember that most neighborhood ponds are storm water retention ponds and are designed to capture storm water runoff, and that includes everything the water carries with it. Fertilizer, insecticides, animal droppings, motor oil, all these contaminants make it harder to keep these ponds healthy. And here's a few more tips to avoid oxygen depletion. First, keep fertilizer away from the water. Do not feed fish or birds. Do not dump grass clippings or leaves into the water and install plants along the shoreline to take up nutrients before they reach the pond.